Hi, this is Alex from phpacademy.org, back with another video for the new Boston. In this video, we're going to be looking at the select distinct statement inside SQL. So we've already looked at selecting data from a database, for example, um, the table, sorry, that I have set up here. It's a basic table, we've got a uh, column ID, which is just an auto increment um, and an integer, and it's our primary key. Now, the data we're going to focus on is this first name and this surname field. Uh, we've got two columns here. We've got first name, we've got a variety of first names, and we've got uh, a variety of surnames. Now, what we have in here is we have, first of all, we have duplicate data. So we've got Dale Garrett uh, and Dale Garrett here. We've got, for the second record, we've got Dale Garrett, and for the fourth record, we've got Dale Garrett as well. We also have some duplicate surnames. So we've got Garrett, Garrett, and Garrett, and Garrett here two Malcolms and one instance of Smith. So we have some duplicate data in our database. Now you'll probably find that when you're storing things um, inside your database, whether it be names like I have now for any reason, um, say you had a comment system, I don't know, it could be absolutely any table holding any amount of data. However, what you might want to do is you might only want to select um, say the first name and surname, but you might want to only show the records that exist um, in themselves. So for example, we might just want to say, well, the surnames that we have in this database consist of Garrett, Malcolm, and Smith. You might just want to say, yeah, okay, so we have um, three different surnames in our, in our uh, surnames um, field, and that is Garrett, Malcolm, and Smith. So how do we go about doing this? Well, we use the um, dis uh, select distinct keyword. So obviously distinct, um, we're selecting distinct values from our uh, from a specific uh, column in our database, if you like. So let's go ahead first of all and select, select the surname from the database. Um, and I'll show you how adding this distinct keyword um, changes everything. So let's say select um, surname from, so we're selecting the field name here, from names, um, and that's about it, that's all I want to do, I want to select surname from names, so we're just selecting all surnames uh, from this names um, table here. Let's go ahead and click go. Okay, so you can see that we've just literally been returned uh, with a list of the surnames that exist in our, in our database for every record. Uh, in here. But you can see that we're still getting four instances of Garrett, two instances of Malcolm, and then just the one instance of Smith. So what we want to do is we want to display this as Garrett, Malcolm, and Smith, because the idea of the distinct is we're not duplicating our results, but we're showing the results. Um, we're basically saying, well, there are four instances of Garrett, but there is an instance of Garrett, so let's just show Garrett. So that's what we're doing with our uh, select distinct uh, keyword. So let's go ahead and paste in what we uh, what we just did before. Now let's add the distinct after this. So the selecting distinct is a keyword in itself. So we're selecting distinct values, surname, from name. So this is the distinct value that we're selecting. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you in a minute what we're gonna do if we're selecting the surname and the first name from names if we're using distinct. Let's go ahead and click go here. I'll just copy and paste this into my clipboard or copy this into my clipboard so we can use it in a moment. Now you can see that what it's done is it's selected the surnames that actually exist, but it hasn't shown the duplicate records that exist for um, this, sur this surname in this example. So just by adding this select distinct uh, statement, we have distinctly selected values from our database. So it all uh, adds up to the fact that it's called select distinct. Okay, so now remember we had uh, duplicate data um, for Dale Garrett, the, the, the um, record Dale Garrett here. We've got Dale Garrett and we've got Dale Garrett here. So what happens if we come into our SQL tab and we don't just select distinct surname, but we, just, we select distinct first name as well. So select distinct surname, first name from names. Let's click go and see what happens. Okay, so you can see that we've been uh, dis well, we're displaying all of the data that exists into the database, but there's obviously one change uh, in here, and you'll see that what we've actually done is we've gotten rid of the duplicate name 
uh, inside of uh, our database. So what we can do is we can select distinct values um, by specifying two fields so that two fields are selected distinctly. So we've got the surname and first name are being selected distinctly. Now Alex and Garrett are different data, Dale and Garrett are different data, however if we have Dale and Gar Dale Garrett duplicate that's not going to be displayed because we're selecting distinct from the first name and the surname joined. So that's the select distinct um, statement inside SQL. Uh, now let's talk about the kind of uses you might you might have for it. Okay, so let's say you had um, a table which stored um, users' comments inside. Let's say you had a guest book application that stored the name of the user or the email address of the user um, who was posting the comment and the comment itself. Now what you might want to do is you might want to say produce a list of all the email addresses that have ever written any comment. You might want not want to produce a list of your every single email address because uh, you're not going to be able to see how many users have been posting. So if we had say a list of a hundred email addresses but 60 of them were unique so we had 60 of the um, of the same email address um, in there um, but uh, you know half of them or just over half of them might have posted um, posted twice or three times if, if it was a less of a percentage. So you might want to select distinct to see how many actual people um, have made a post in somewhere or uh, you know I'm sure you can make up your own uses for it. There's lots of different uses you can get out of that uh, this uh, select distinct. But next time you want to select uh, distinct values from your uh, database um, just use the select distinct uh, select distinct key uh, statement and you're going to be returning uh, distinct values from fields that are specified.